guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner by continuing our pantry, freezer, and fridge challenge. And what that means is we are trying to use what we have on hand. So um, in my pantry, I had two packages of this Campbell's um, skillet sauces. Um, I threw, the, threw away the other packet, but I used two of these and I had some frozen boneless um, skinless chicken thighs in my freezer. So that's what I used to prepare the meal. In my pantry, I had a box of penne pasta. So I used half a box of the pasta and we are also having some breadsticks as well. I've shown these before on other What's For Dinner videos. And this, um, these breadsticks are from Tom Thumb, which is a grocery store around here. And we really like their breadsticks and garlic bread. It's a lot cheaper than Pepperidge Farm. And really, I think it's a lot tastier too. Um, so let me show you. So here's the packet here. Like I said, it's a Campbell skillet meal. On the packet, they are serving theirs with pasta, and so I'm, I'm doing the same thing. So um, anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are having another meal from our pantry and freezer. We are having taco salad, so let me show you the shells that we used. Um, these are from Azteca, and I have talked about these on other What's For Dinner videos, how much I love these things, and they're so hard to find. So a while back ago, I did find these randomly at Kroger, and I bought a bunch of boxes, probably like six boxes, and then I put them in the freezer, and so we've been using those, and I have not found them since, so uh, my little stash is dwindling down, but um, I love these things. Um, you bake them in the oven and they turn out crispy and crunchy just like taco salad shells at Taco Bell but you get four of them um, in a box here you go and they really do look like this as you can see on my plate had ground beef in the freezer had cheese in the freezer had salsa as well this is the taco seasoning that we used and this was in the pantry and then I made a dessert using another item from our pantry um, these Martha White red velvet cupcakes Never made them before. This makes 12 cupcakes, but I've mentioned before, since it's just Howard and I, um, I usually never make 12 cupcakes. I just make jumbo cupcakes. So I just um, put the, the batter into six large uh, jumbo cupcake um, tins. Sorry, lost my train of thought. And so here they are on the platter. So Howard is not a big fan of icing, so he wanted a plain one and then he wanted a lightly iced one. But um, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and for dessert, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, we are having a, another meal from our freezer. Let me show you what we are having. So we are having some beef bulgogi. And I got this from Costco a while ago, and it's been outside in my, um, in the freezer in my garage. And so I um, wanted to pull it out, and it's really good. We just tried it today for the very first time. But like I said, we got it from Costco, and we, well, I pan fried the dumplings. So here they are. That's what they look like. And they are filled with ground beef, and they have a really good bulgogi flavor. And with it, I just made some green onion fried rice. I had some leftover um, jasmine rice in the fridge and then I just stir fried it with some sesame oil, some green onions, and just some seasoning. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, we are having one of our favorites tonight. It is the DiGiorno um, pan pizza and we have had this several times on our what's for dinner videos. Now, normally I would show you the box, but we got this from Sam's and um, this is a second pizza. So we've already thrown away the box, but I have uh, the instructions right here. So you can see that it's DiGiorno crispy pan pizza. It's the pepperoni. You cook it on 400 directly on the oven rack. Um, and here are the cooking times right here. And so um, Howard made this and then he took it out of the oven and put it on a cookie sheet. So that's why it's on this 
um, cookie sheet, but here it is in the pan. We really like this pan pizza a lot. Um, let me see if I can show you the crust. There it is, all golden brown. So if you like Pizza Hut pan pizza, the crust is similar. I'm not saying it tastes like Pizza Hut, but it, it's thick and golden and chewy and yummy. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so Howard and I are trying out a new barbecue restaurant in Dallas, and so we got some ribs, and we got some mac and cheese, some collard greens, and some brisket. Kind of looks like pork, I know, but it's actually brisket. So um, if you've never been to Texas before, typically when you go to a barbecue restaurant, they serve you your meat on um, this, you know, paper. So we don't actually have plates. We're just gonna be eating it off of the paper that they gave us. And um, I always get some pickled onions, and then this is some barbecue sauce right here. There's a little mustard, that's what you see. It wasn't mixed uh, very well, but anyway, this is uh, what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.